Well, you are not necessarily wrong, you are also not necessarily correct, because there's a little bit more to it than what you are saying. So, in the 1600s, troll was taken from the Old Norse to mean a giant being not of the human race, an evil spirit, or a monster. Again, that's in the 1600s. Now, it did have some isolated uses in like the 14th century, 1400s, and it's speculated to have originally meant a creature that walks clumsily, as the word troll really actually does, if you follow the etymology, kind of deal with walking. Now, <clears throat> it does derive from the Proto-Germanic Truslan, or Truslanen, which had to do, like I said, with walking. It's related to the Swedish word Trolla, which is to charm or bewitch, and the Old Norse word Troll the Dammer, which means witchcraft. There were troll maidens, troll wives, troll women, troll men, which were magicians and wizards, and the troll drum, which was used in Lapish magic rites. Later people ascribed malevolence to them and conceived them to be a separate race of beings so that by the 19th century, they were regarded in Denmark and in Sweden as underground cave-dwelling dwarves and imps. So, your information is not technically wrong, but it is also not technically correct, because there's a lot more to it than what you are saying in your post. I hope this gives a little bit more information, and I will put up some screenshots here in just a moment to show you where I got this information from. <clears throat> 